Are your icon designs responsive? So far, you know all about responsive web design, media queries, and fluid grids. But how are your icons doing? The idea behind responsive images is fairly simple. You serve up the same images in different sizes to different screens. However, this practice doesn't always work great with icons. A given icon might look great at its original size, but terrible once scaled down due to too much detail being squished into such a tight space. So, what's the answer? Responsive icons. These shapeshifters do more than change size. They actually change their design to accommodate the size at which they're being served. Otherwise, mobile users will struggle with confusing controls, pages requiring scrolling and shrinking, and other annoying design elements that will run them off. Okay, so how do we design responsive icons? Designers often create responsive icons in packs. As the user zooms in or out, the icon will change from one model to another. The largest icons have more features and details, where the smaller icons are simply stripped down diminutive versions. Even when the icons are small, like in smartphones, they must be recognizable because they're so often the major controls for a site. Designers have to design something that the average user will understand intuitively, without a lot of special instructions. If you're interested in seeing more, here are a few resources you can check out. This animation is brought to you by Creative Market. Subscribe to our weekly newsletter to get more tips like this.